everybody. How you doing? Mike Moulton from thesharpinvestor.com coming to you today from my MDU. That's my mobile deal unit, aka my truck. Um, I This week on Ask Mike, I had uh, Tim from California wrote in and said, hey Mike, Courtney, these are great tips you're providing weekly here. I really appreciate it. Um, can you give us an example of walk through a deal, uh, a strategy that you're using in today's market? So I thought, Tim, what a great idea would be if I, um, I'm actually going out on an appointment now to meet a seller. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to have them sign disclosures and get them on film or anything like that. Uh, and I apologize for the lighting right now in this video because the sun's coming in from all different directions because we're moving, so I apologize. Um, but what I am going to do, I'm going to drive up to the house and um, just kind of lay out the deal for you right now. Then after I meet with the seller, I'm going to do an overview of exactly what strategy we should use to get this deal done. So basically, here's the situation. Um, we acquired this lead via direct mail. Uh, the situation is this: the daughter uh, has to sell her mom's home. She's the executor of, of the estate. Uh, the mom had just refinanced the house recently, I guess within three or four months, uh, and then she had an illness and recently passed away very quickly. So this is a big stress for the family and we're trying to help them out here and see what we can do. I think it's going to result in a short sale situation. Uh, the house is pretty much 100% financed. If you took out um, just one realtor commission, not even two, you would pretty much be at um, at 100% finance. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is just educate the homeowner that um, basically, you know, there really aren't a whole slew of options here other than a short sale in this in this environment. And um, at this point, see if we can help them to do that. And then, um, you know, being a brokerage as well, we're able to get this thing listed and get it sold. So the good news is the house is a bread and butter house for this area. It's uh, under $200,000, which for Charlotte is right along the median. Um, and the, uh, the days on market's really low here, which is great. So I think we're going to be able to help help her out. Let's see, um, let's see what my sales skills can do if we can get the deal. Um, I do know, you know, there's there's other. She may be meeting with another broker or two. I'm not sure. I think we're the only guys in line. Um, but they're, I, I'm pretty sure that they're not going to have the strategies that we have laid out. Um, she's got two little kids of her own, so she's a little bit uh, stressed out and just probably wants this to be taken care of. So, uh, so tune in. Um, this actually, I don't want to talk for another five, ten minutes till I get there. But what I'll do is, um, like I said, on the way back, we'll debrief on what happened, and uh, I'll even show you some of the numbers involved and where we're going to make make our money on this one. All right. So I appreciate it. Uh, just stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Thanks. Hey everybody, I'm back again. It's Mike here. All right, here's the deal with this house. I'm going to just uh, turn around here in the neighborhood so you can get a feel for it. Um, all right, before I said that this thing was pretty much 100% loan to value uh, based on everything going on, you can see the mover trucks over, over my shoulder here in front of the house. These guys are getting ready to go. Uh, the house, it's, it's just really messy right now. They're trying to get everything together, get moved. Um, Basically, we've got uh, a situation. I'm going to wave to the movers. Um, we've got a situation where the uh, the kids have. There's a little bit of damage. Um, it's what we call pretty house damage in the business. Uh, there's carpets are pretty much destroyed. Finger paint, other paint, everything all over them. Makeup, um, pretty much in in 80% of the rooms. Uh, all of the walls are fingerprinted with black finger paint and all sorts of good stuff so that's kind of a problem as well uh, so basically you know we're looking at a situation where uh, the, the mother had refinanced right before she passed away and she refinanced at I think 176,000 is owed and there are some solds in 185 but there's also some solds at um, 165 so Little bit, little bit of a challenge. There's a few other broken things in there, and she just bought a new house, and she's taking all of the appliances, including all the built-in appliances, microwave, dishwasher, etc. So, this is going to look like a beat-up, um, foreclosed home if it goes on the market this way. So, 
uh, what we're going to have to do is work with the bank to get a discount. Um, in this neighborhood, probably best to just just do the repairs. You will get the money back. Um, there have been some recent sales, and that's because school's starting. Everyone's trying to get in before the school's starting, being in August. So um, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge too. So anyway. You know, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go over uh, some other deal details of this and uh, maybe post them in the blog for you in a written section. But, um, you know, there's really no other alternative than to short sale this property or it's going to go to foreclosure. And the interesting part is the, the loan is in her deceased mother's name. So uh, if you're wondering if you can actually do a short sale on a uh, deceased person's loan you can I've done it before it's actually a lot easier you don't have to provide all the financials and everything you just provide a copy of the death certificate and um, maybe an obituary and it's good to go and the bank you know there's no other alternative for the bank but to sell it so um, anyway hope for this was helpful once again this is Mike Moulton from the sharpinvestor.com make sure to go to our website click on the home page and sign up for the uh, weekly t video tips and everything else we've got coming at you, what's working best. We're always analyzing deals, talking about the latest and greatest strategies. We appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day. Mm -hmm.